When it comes to video games, there are too many to keep up with. So it goes without saying that when you sit down to write about video game history, you are inevitably going to miss something important. I found a perfect example of this in the book Replay The History of Video Games by Tristan Donovan. Donovan mentions user-generated content and game modification and misses out on what I consider a major stepping stone in where game modification and user-generated content are today. He speaks of the game's pinball construction set and load runner as the first games that supplied user-generated content, but mentions that the ability to create content was very limited. He also mentions that the features in these games would be improved upon by games such as Quake and Little Big Planet. The problem I have with this is the large span of time between Pinball Construction Set and Little Big Planet. There was another game created farther in the past that affected user generated content and modding in a way that not many know of. This is where Adventure Construction Set comes into play. Adventure Construction Set was created by Stuart Smith and released in 1984, only one year after Pinball Construction Set. ACS was inspired by PCS but tackled different genres, action adventure and RPG. The features were varied and deep. These included map creation, random monster spawn, adding sound effects and music, custom creating sprites and adding dialogue and puzzles. There was even limited customization of creature artificial intelligence. What's more, these games could be shared with your friends or played with four people. You could even transfer your characters between games. So what makes this game so important? Outside of the fact that ACS helped Electronic Arts get where it is today by being one of their earliest best-selling games in 1985. It inspired a very important person to the modding community. A man named Todd Howard. Todd Howard created a little game franchise known as The Elder Scrolls. See, Mr. Howard encountered Adventure Construction Set many years ago like I did, and he was inspired. He was so inspired that he made a set of tools known as the Elder Scrolls Construction Set, even including Construction Set in the name as a nod to Stuart Smith. So it is here today that I bring to you this knowledge of a game that along with its creator has faded into the annals of time. Even John Romero, the creator of Doom and Quake, failed to track down Stuart Smith when he wanted to pay respects to Stuart for the games he made. Mr. Stuart, if you're still out there, I would like to thank you for supplying the world with a game that inspired an entire modding toolset. A game that is responsible for where player game customization is today. A game that took me two weeks to get working and two hours to create a disc to save to and one to construct adventures on. Thank you.